SD cards. We've all got them. Some of us have more than others, but they can be a little bit of a pain to manage. They're really small, they all look the same. So here's a couple of tips that I've come up with along my journey that might help you out. Now I'm someone that has a lot of SD cards. I like using different ones and uh, not just using the same one over and over again, sort of spreading the load across uh, many cards just to not be putting all my eggs in one basket, so to speak. And as such, I've accumulated quite a few. And on an event shoot or a wedding or something like that, I like to change my cards during the day and not just rely on one card. This is just so that if the card from the ceremony in a wedding situation happened to fail, I at least know that I've got other parts of the day on other cards and it just sort of distributes out the risk a little bit. So the way that I manage my SD cards probably isn't all that applicable if you're someone that just has one card, shoots YouTube videos or home videos and just sort of uses the same card over and over. But if you're someone who's doing longer days and uh, having to manage multiple cards and um, multiple streams and all of this, this advice is for you. So the first thing that I find really, really useful is one of these, just a simple hard SD card case. I spent a little bit of time looking for what works best for me. Lots of the solutions I found were like little Velcro uh, pouches, which um, sort of help you to divide up um, cards and all of that. But I just never liked the fact that it wasn't a hard case. This little one, it's by Pelican, the same guys who do the big Pelican cases, and it's really quite strong, and it stores a bunch of SD cards. This one's empty at the moment, but you can store like 12 SD cards and six micro SD cards in there at the same time. And it's just a great way to get organized. Having the SD card case is the first step, but then I've come up with a few systems inside of the case in order to make things run a bit smoother. So first things first, I figured out which way's up for me and it might be different for you or your case, but I always know which way's up and I've got stickers on the outside of my case that help me to know which way is which. So when I have a card in the case and it's facing upright, so that the writing is the right way up and the right way around, I know that card is clear, ready to be used or ready to be formatted. Once I've used a card, I'll actually put it upside down and lock the SD card. And if you're not using the lock on your SD cards, you should definitely consider doing it because it just helps to have a clear sign that a card's been used and you know which ones to dump and which ones not to get, try and use that are already full. A third layer of complexity is that if I'm shooting a card with dual card slots and I'm using both to record at the same time, so I've always got a backup, what I'll do is I'll put one card upside down and one card upside down and back to front. And this is my little shorthand way of knowing which one's the A card and the B card so that when it comes to dumping, I can clearly see which ones I need to dump. So what you wanna do with your SD card case is make sure that it's really well labeled with your phone number or email or just some way of somebody getting into contact with you if they find it. Whether you lose it or it happened to be stolen, you really wanna get this back because I know with my equipment, if I was to be robbed or somebody take my camera bag when I was out on an event or anything like that, I know that all my gear is insured, but the data isn't. And that's why it's so important to protect it and have a way of being contacted. Most people who would take something like this wouldn't be all that interested in your data unless there's something bigger afoot, but labeling it just helps. <laughs> so something that I've started to do, which I don't think I've really seen much of, is labeling the individual SD cards. And there's a few reasons why I do this. It's really tricky with a whole bunch of SD cards that all look the same, especially if you've got a few and you're doing big shoots and big shoot days to really know which ones are which and which ones you've used and keep track of it all. So I've just come up with my own little serial number system that I write on the back of each SD card. I have it all tracked in a spreadsheet and it just allows me to identify each card when I'm dumping media at the end of a project, I make sure that I include the SD card serial in the folder that I'm putting the media into. And then if there's any issues, a file hasn't copied properly, when I'm checking through everything, I can easily identify which card I need to go back to to run recovery on if I need to. And if a card has failed and I've got data loss, I'm not using that card again until I recover the data 
and I'm probably not using the card again and getting a new one because I don't wanna risk that happening again. It's just a way of knowing which cards uh, are doing what and make sure that you don't end up with any duds in your pack. Even though my serial number system doesn't include contact details on each SD card, they're just too small to get too much info on, it does just identify them as yours because you know it's your handwriting, you know it's your system. If you're working with others, you can clearly identify which cards are yours too. Another advantage is your spreadsheet almost serves as a bit of an inventory of your cards. And if you're ever wondering, did I actually have six or seven cards? You can always go and check and you know if you're missing one. Through my years of video production and filmmaking, one of my biggest fears has been losing data. And it's happened to me on just a couple of occasions. And that's been enough that I've made decisions in how I work to make sure that that doesn't happen again. And yes, that has looked like having a card fail during a wedding ceremony and the data being lost, or incorrectly dumping media, deleting the card, and using it again before being able to recover the data off the card. They're just little things that I've unfortunately learned the hard way and had to deal with along my journey. And I can assure you it hasn't been fun when those things have happened. And that's why I've come up with these little things. They do add a little bit of extra work to your process, but I feel like it's worth it in the long run. So there's just a little bit of how I manage my SD cards. It's not very exciting stuff, but it's just these little practical things that I've picked up along my journey. And hopefully it helps you out. Meet Suzanne. ASMR. I should figure out a uh, YouTube opening. Uh, Peter McKinnon, what's up everyone? Bwah. It's like a bwah, bwah. What's up everyone? Not Peter McKinnon here. Welcome back to another episode. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. <laughs>